Trying to advertise your videos on YouTube correctly is a difficult task. I'm okay with admitting that I have at times spent multiple days making a thumbnail for my main channel just because I know that it's, the, you know, it's the main difference between me getting like a certain amount of views or five times that amount. And obviously that matters, right? After I already post a video, I sometimes panic and frantically change the thumbnail like five times in a row, like a maniac. And I guess it's good to know that I'm not the only person dealing with that problem because some YouTube thumbnails are just... Are just incredible. How to stop fapping forever. No bullshit guide. Never relapse again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at some of these monstrosities that have been curated here, and I'm gonna a rate the thumbnail on its own merit, and b uh, predict uh, the video. Kind of see if it's clickbait or if we're actually getting a real video. I guess we're, we'll just see the intro. So this is, I mean, this is an incredible piece of art already. Never relapse again. You know, this is like, I don't know what this is, what kind of media this is from, but this guy, he's determined to never touch his willy again. A lot of good thumbnails, I feel like, are complementary to the title. You know, it's like it's sort of a a match situation. If you just see, you know, this thumbnail on its own, it doesn't really work. But you're like, oh, this is a determined man. And what he's determined to do is not, uh, stroke his, uh, peace. He's unfazed by it. Like, look at his face. He's not even, he's not even thinking about the idea of relapsing. He is determined. He's got this. I love the contrast as well. The black and white is great. Very eye-catching. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to give this like a, like an 8 out of 10. I think it's a good thumbnail. There are better thumbnails though. If you wanted to stop jacking off, could you? Most people won't stop jacking off and they never will. It's a disease that has plagued men more in this generation than any disease ever could. The average man can't spend a week without jacking off. Well, it's... It's a video, all right. I don't get these people who are that obsessed with like other people going to town on a on a ding dong. Like, who cares? Like, really? Like, who? Why? Why do you care? I get it if you don't want to do it. Like, that's that's fine. Society shouldn't pressure you into doing that if you don't want to do it. But this this isn't like a this isn't like a worldwide emergency situation that we need really need to like care about. That's how it's usually presented by these guys. It's like, oh. The world is burning down, ladies and gentlemen. People are touching a peepee. -pee. The video itself, I'm giving it like a three because it's funny. Because he he's so he's so determined to talk about this. I still think that it's really dumb. <laughs> what? <laughs> So this one, it's just like, just like a little mystery, right? So there are t there, there's one thing here that's not like the others. I, f I feel like we can agree on that. Lies and manipulation. You're like, ooh, what happened with, I'm assuming this relationship and between Anthony Padilla and another person. But then we have uh, diarrhea. And while it is hilarious, there's a sense of intrigue of that, you know? <laughs> this diarrhea must have had a similar weight uh, when it comes to ending this relationship, as uh, did lies and manipulation. What great tale awaits us behind this thumbnail? I'm gonna have to give this one, I think a 7 out of 10. I'm incredibly intrigued. You also gotta know that it's a horrible video. So, like, you, you're not gonna click on it. You might watch, like, the first five seconds. And you know what? I think I'm not gonna watch that video either, even though that's the, the rules I set up like five seconds ago. I just like, I, I just like having this as a separate piece of art. Anthony's face as well, it's like hilarious. Like, is that like related to the diarrhea? It's like, oh, a little bit of diarrhea. Who's to say? You know, art is uh, very subjective. The next thumbnail is actually one that kind of counters the first one. First one was very anti, 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 uh, a pee pee in hand uh, kind of combo. But what's great about YouTube is that it's it's just full of these like incredible thinkers, you know, full of geniuses, just debating the open space of the internet. That's the next thumbnail. <laughs> My first time. <laughs> it's Mordecai from the regular show. He's so excited about doing a. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I just got to. 
Thanks. There's a tough competition here, you know? I don't know. I, like, I, I gotta, I guess, decide if I like this one or the Never Relapse Again thumbnail more. The Never Relapse Again one, there's something a bit depressing about it, you know? The black and white. I feel like that's also kind of part of the of the mentality that that person is selling it's not you're not really going for a happy life these people these anti 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 fat people they're living a black and white sort of uh lifestyle whereas this person this is this thumbnail just screams euphoria woo he's shouting this is my first time just and you know what? I think it's good to be positive nowadays. I think I think we can be negative about a lot of stuff, but this is a thumbnail of a person who's happy. I'm gonna have to give this an eight and a half out of ten. Just looking up my first time j What a what a job I have. Basically a series that I do on my channel, letting you guys know some amazing, crazy, funny, hilarious, all that good stuff, life stories that I, that happened in my life. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. But anyways, guys, as you guys probably ran the title, I'm going to be telling you guys about my first time busting or my first time. All right. <laughs> I really don't need uh, I really don't need the details of this story. I like I like this vibe more, you know. He's happy about it. It's a, it's a fond It's a fond memory, I guess. Now this is like this I've actually seen this video. Gay. So th <laughs> this is the two leads from the uh, Fast and Furious, the second Fast and Furious movie, Too Fast, Too Furious. Paul Walker and I don't know his name, and I also don't know any of their character names, because it's Fast and Furious. Then, you know, the thumbnail is implying that they have some sort of, uh, gay love for each other. They're, like, looking into each other's eyes longingly. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is from a really good video essay from uh, Ben from Canada called Too, Too By Too Furious. Essentially theorizing that uh, the movie Too Fast Too Furious is actually like a story about a, like, a, like two guys who are bi. And kind of their relationship between each other, uh, certain jealousies that they have. It's actually, I like the video. <laughs> It's a good video. I don't want to like just play it and spoil it for you, but I, I'd give it a watch. Ben from Canada makes, uh, he, he's, he hasn't posted that many videos, but when he does, pretty good stuff. I like it. As for the thumbnail itself, hmm. I love the frame that he chose. I feel like it's, it's, it's romantic, you know? You kind of get a lot of the story within this look. I feel like it's simple and it does the job, you know? Like, you, you get the story from this. I like it. I'd give it like a, I'd say it's a seven. I feel like a seven makes sense for me. You may be thinking at this point, Pinely, you're really holding out that 10 out of 10 score. Like what's, why are you being so, uh, why are you being so mean? You, do you not have a perfect thumbnail? Do you not have like a, like a, a an award winning thumbnail that deserves the 10 out of 10 score for you? What's wrong with you, Pinely? Stop being such a, a negative Nelly, Pinely, evil Pinely. That's, that's who I am on this channel. Well, that's because I save it just for the best of the best. <laughs> that's just, just incredible. This, this, this is a 10 out of 10 thumbnail. I'm rating this a 10 out of 10. So, first of all, we cannot ignore the classic Mr. Beast, uh, thumbnail element, which is, like the George Ezra song says, we got some green green grass, we got some blue blue sky, we got a little bit of a, a thumbnail face from CJ So Cool, a little bit of a, oh, I almost got my kids, <laughs> almost got my kids back. This is so tragic. I feel bad for laughing at this. Uh, this is like a real thing. So I, I started watching, I just started watching that video and I was like, is he just kind of, I don't know, faking, having a like a like a custody problem with his kids no this this he's see he made that thumbnail seriously for a serious topic everyone's wondering how i'm gonna get my kids back and i'm here to tell you guys exactly how that's gonna happen like i think it's serious and he started his video with a youtube starter kind of youtube intro kind of hand vlogging hand it's a sort of cadence you usually hear like what the heck is up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. But instead he's saying, Everyone's wondering how I'm gonna get my kids back, and I'm here to tell you- I'm just gonna kinda let the video, uh, play just for the audio, cause he's showing- he's showing pictures of his kids, and I, I feel like that's weird. The way that things have been going on online, and everyone knowing everything that's happening, there is gonna be no more of that. Everything is handled behind the scenes, using lawyers. It's now come to my attention that this was my idea, and not the other party, so I don't know what it's going- I- it sounds very serious. I, I'm not budging in for whatever court 
case is going on here. This sounds so serious of a topic to be presented in this way, in this vloggy, kind of YouTuber challenge sort of tone. And then this thumbnail. Like this... 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 This f***ing thumbnail. He did a Mr. Beast thumbnail about a very real situation where he's trying to get, like, custody of his kids back. What... What's going... What's going on, guys? What's go <laughs> What's going on? What is this world that we live in? He did a thumbnail face. He did a... We see this tragic tale kind of laid out of a fa of, of a father sort of trying to to get his kids, but because he, like, when he took the thumbnail picture, he didn't really look at the right place, he's kind of looking right past them. Like, there's, you know, it's it's bad Photoshop job. You, you should have either kind of, like, moved the kids, I guess, a bit over there, or maybe retook the picture of him looking there. Like, there's something weird, like, he's not even looking. Maybe he has, like, these aren't even his kids, he has, like, a different set of kids that are, like, beyond the frame. I don't mean to kind of be mean about his situation, but CJ so cool is like a massive youtuber. He has 9 million subscribers. He knows YouTube This isn't like a foreign landscape for him. He must know that this is a weird thing to do Anyways, then we got uh, five beavers. That's also 10 out of 10. I mean, what else? What else do you want? And lastly this one Jew versus Jew. Uh, I don't really have a lot to say but I five five out of ten I guess Maybe four it is a bit intriguing like how, how are they test- like, what what are they com competing for? Subscribe for a chance to win five adorable beavers.